You know, one of the biggest issues in our society, though there are many, is our obsession with perfection. We want the perfect job, perfect family, perfect belongings, perfect body. Let me start by saying there is no perfect body. It does not exist. But you wouldn't know that by opening Instagram, by glancing at a magazine, by turning on the TV. No, our society has created this notion of this perfect body, and it forces this belief into the minds of individuals, creating body image struggles and even mental illness. These images of perfection are everywhere we look, and it is so hard to escape, so hard to break away from these horrible norms that have developed and continue to develop in our world. Let's start with social media, something that appears harmless. Most of us use it. It doesn't seem like it's hurting anyone. But you know what? Social media is one of the greatest dangers in our society today. Let me explain. When you're scrolling through your feed, you see these pictures. These pictures of people who look flawless. But these people, these influencers, use so many factors to give you that impression. From lighting, to flexing, to different poses, to photo editing. All of these things work together to make you think that these people look perfect. But this perfect body, even these people themselves cannot achieve it without other means. These pictures often can't even reach this notion of perfection without being edited. Airbrushing and photoshopping are utilized so heavily on social media, and half the time, you would have no idea. But let me say this, when you see these pictures of perfect girls with their slim waists, smooth skin, and hourglass figures, chances are, it's not real. But where did this want to look like this come from? Well, even as children, we are shown similar images. Take Disney princesses, for example, with their waist being so small there is no way they have rib cages. Or superheroes with their toned muscles, lack of any body fat, and flawless appearances. Even as little kids, it is instilled in us that that is how we should look. We naturally want to look like these people, these characters that we admire. And you know what? This is destroying us, is destroying kids. Because studies are showing that children as young as three are experiencing dissatisfaction with how they look. Children under 10 are developing eating disorders. This is wrong. This cannot continue. Because even as kids, we are taught by these images that society values that we are not perfect. That we are inferior because we don't look like that. Well, that is fake. So many people face these struggles. In fact, I can just about guarantee that almost everyone you know has or will face a lack of body confidence or dissatisfaction with how they look. The struggles that teens, adults, and children face in regards to how their bodies look are a direct source of eating disorders and depression. This overwhelming feeling of being broken, of being imperfect, is too great a burden to bear, and it is ripping us apart. It is human nature to be easily influenced, and when there are images everywhere telling us how we should look, and influencers doing so as well, we are so vulnerable, and it hurts. I know, I've been there, and it is so hard. But I challenge you, no, I beg you, to decide to start the journey. Yes, it is a journey. No one just wakes up one day and decides that they love themselves unconditionally and are com confident in their skin. It is not that easy. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But it is so necessary. We have to break away from these horrible standards that our society has created and relies so much on. I want you to be able to look in the mirror and see yourself for the beautiful, amazing human you are. I want you to see yourself as someone you love and accept. Because if I asked you to name off people that you love, I wonder how long it would take before you said yourself. And that breaks my heart. That the society that we have created teaches us that we are not deserving of self-love and that we are imperfect. 
We have to change this. We have to. And it's a big thing to change. But making small changes helps. Believe me. Even just looking in the mirror and finding something. One thing that you love about yourself. Just one. You have so many to choose from. I promise. I know I said there is no perfect body. But hear me now. Your body is perfect. Just the way it is. No matter your flaws. And in fact, who decided what are and aren't flaws? I think the most beautiful thing in the world is loving and embracing every part about yourself. That is what we should value, not these unattainable images of beauty. There is perfection in our uniqueness. There is perfection in our happiness. It's time to focus on that. It's time to focus on the fact that you are a miracle. Your body is incredible. It does so much for you, and you know what? It's the only one you get. So we need to take care of ourselves. We need to love ourselves. I promise you, you deserve it. You deserve to love yourself. I give you permission. And together, if enough of us in society decide that the world doesn't get to tell us what is beautiful and what is not, if enough of us decide that we're going to ignore everything around us that tells us that we shouldn't love ourselves, if enough of us decide that we are worth loving, that we like who we are, we might be on our way to change the world.